Hi guys and welcome to the nail team. As most of you know we moved in December 2013 to larger premises so I wanted to show you around the shop area and the training centre before we start the tutorial. So this is our shop area. We sell a wide range of products and you can come in 10 till 5 Monday to Friday or 10.30 till 2.30 on a Saturday. We stock NSI, Crystal Nails, Pro Impressions and lots of other brands. We also have a fantastic candy cart that's full of nail team goodies, glitters, bling, lots of things to get you excited. Follow me into the training area. So this is our new larger training area, great for group courses but we also run one-to-ones here. So you're welcome to book on a course and come and enjoy and learn some new skills. So look forward to seeing you soon and we'll start the tutorials now. Bye! So for this nail I'm just going to do a one colour sculptured nail so that you can see how you can create a base before you would put some nail art on top. So the nail's already been prepped, primed and it's already got a form applied so I'm ready to go. So picking up a nice large bead of acrylic, you can start at that zone 2 and 3 Again, into place, tilting that client's nail down so that it won't run into that cuticle area. And as you can see, the acrylic then moves forward. So getting that bead into place with the point of your brush and then securing it with the side of your brush and the belly of your brush, which is your strong area. Keep pushing those side walls up until that product starts to set. Now looking at the apex of your nail, decide where you need some more product and start to build that apex up. You want the product to move you can brush it. If you want the product to stay, you can pat it. I'm just using NSI's Extreme Pink. It makes the nail bed and plate look really healthy. Gives it a nice colour. And the brush I'm using is the NSI Precision Brush. Always giving your brush a really good rinse once you finish using it. So you need to give that nail between 30 to 60 seconds to start setting before you can start pinching your nail. Just give it a little tap just to see when it's ready. It shouldn't be sticky but it should still be soft and mouldable. Place your pinching tool on only using the first part of your pinching tool so it's not too tight or uncomfortable for the client, it shouldn't hurt them. And once it's set, you can take that pinching tool off and then take your form off and start to file this nail. I always start with my side walls and my free edge first. And as you can see, I'm using a 180 grit file, or you can use a 150 if you want to.
So once you've finished filing that nail and you've had a good look at it, all you need to do now is remove your dust and that nail is now ready for whatever art you want to put on top of it, whether it be gel or acrylic painting. So if you'd like to purchase any of those products that you've just seen on that tutorial, you need to join our Facebook page www.thenailteam.com and then you can send a message to our sales team, Matthew and Diane Nail Team, and they'll sort that order out for you. Thanks for watching. Bye.